Mission on the Light, July 24, 2018. Letter number 16, The Years of Prosperity. John, write down these words because my children must be aware to recognize the signs from heaven little before the end. The history repeats itself of some events. A long time ago, Pharaoh of Egypt had a dream. In his dream, he saw seven fat cows and seven lean cows. Genesis chapter 41. The dream was interesting to him and he wanted to know the meaning. Yet, no, not him nor anyone else can interpret the dream, so he called Joseph. Joseph had the Spirit of God within, and he explained the dream to Pharaoh simply and understandable. He told him that the seven fat cows represent seven years of comfortable life and prosperity on the land, with grains and fruits in abundance. But the next seven years, there will be uh, the earth will not produce and not give anything. And so the years of abundance came, and so the years of deprivation followed. My children, the opposite will happen to you in your days. You, my beloveds, have suffered a great deal of not only seven years of deprivation, but countless. Your gifts, sweet generation, will be before the end of this system. You will rejoice countless years of abundance and comfortable life. Every one of you, the way of life will improve. Your daily lives will be unbelievable. In a cloud of blessings and bliss, I will wrap you all in my generation. You will thrive in health and money will appear to you in, from thin air. The technology will prosper. Your faces will never be sad again. Stress will not be anymore in your days. You, you will not worry about your income in order to feed your families and your children. Hydrants of blessings will open to each of you. In my kingdom, with joyful faces, you will enter. Free from physical pain, soul pain, and eyes without tears of pain and sorrow. Only tears of joy you will have in your faces when we meet. Joy and gratitude for your Heavenly Father. I tell you this again, my children. All these ones who have patience from all the earthly suffering they go through now, they will have their, their prosperity. Believe me, before the end, we want to see you enjoy all things that was deprived from you. Enjoy all the things in your lives. The fairness will be restored. All of you, my children, will taste happiness and comfort in your physical earthly lives. Until now, happiness and comfort was only for few. In fact, very, very few in comparison with the population of this earth. Yet, life is beautiful, and sadly, the majority of you don't know it. Only, only hardships, bitterness, and sorrows, you know. The earth was not made to give hardships to her children. Sadness and misery will not enter my kingdom. Soon, all this badness will subside. Our angels bring, in, bring into us in heaven souls of innocent children who have died from starvation. They, they bring into us souls of illnesses and also souls who have taken their own lives because of poverty and disappointment. The hands of our angels will be empty from delivering souls. Instead, they will be holding censers with pure incense in them, and they will glorify our Father with singing hymns and blessings. Father and I will bring balance on the earth. I promise you, my children, all these things will happen very soon. You will be so happy, you will be so blessed and joyful when you meet me in the mid-air. With my orders, my angels will lead you in the bright place of my heavenly, heavenly judgment. Everything will happen so fast in the blink of the eye. This promise has been written in many 
places in your scriptures, I will give you two to strengthen you and to give you courage, my children. I am asking you to find it and read it, to see it and to understand it. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 31 to 58, and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 to 18. I will not take away from my promises, not even one persuasion. All written will happen and will occur in your time life. Before the end of this year, you will start receiving heavenly gifts. Start watching this. I want you to continue with your prayers. Start praying the kingdom of heaven to come fast. Father is love and compassionate and his heart and he hears all your prayers. I am blessing you to have peace, harmony, love, and all your, you and all your loved ones. Hold on, my generation, hold on, I am returning to you. My footsteps are echoing the heavenly dome, Jesus Christ.